everyone, I wanna show you exactly how to set up a YouTube channel completely from scratch, step by step. And more importantly, I wanna show you how to do this correctly because there are some settings that you should really know about so you do this exactly the right way when you set it up so it doesn't hurt you down the road. And at the end of the video, I'll show you one of my favorite tools for YouTube that helped me get over 85 million views on this channel and I use it on my other channels as well. Step one is creating a YouTube account if you don't have one. And even if you have one, I still recommend you create a YouTube account or a Google account designated for this YouTube channel. So go to youtube.com and if you're logged in, log out so you get this sign in option. And if you press this here, it lets you create an account. Now this is a Google account, which you most likely already have. But if you create one from scratch, you could actually design this correctly from the top. So you could do this for yourself, or if you're going to grow this and you want other people to potentially manage this for you, choose this option here. Now I usually choose the second option, and then here, basically it lets me go ahead and give it a first name, a last name, and assign an email. This is gonna become your Google email that you'll use to log into YouTube or you could create a Gmail account here. So these are all pretty straightforward. Go ahead and do that. Now, once you do that, come back to YouTube and you'll have a profile icon with a letter on it. Go ahead and click this right here. And you'll have an option here that says create a channel. So you could go ahead and create a channel directly from here. Press this option. And on here, if you chose a personal account, it's gonna pull up your name. That can be your channel name, but you can also change this option over here too and put in the channel name that you want and then just press create channel on this page. We'll worry about our profile picture in a little bit. Just go ahead and name your channel whatever you want and create a channel. Now your YouTube channel name does really play an important role in how fast your channel grows, but you can change this later. So I'll put a link in a video I have that explains all of that about naming a channel, but right now put something that you're happy with, but don't worry, you could change it later. Now, most likely you landed on a page that looks like this, and this is YouTube Creator Studio. There's also an app for this for iPhone and Android that you should download that makes everything much easier to keep track of. And if you didn't come here, just press this option and choose Creator Studio from here. Now, once you're on this page, we're on step three, which is a critical step, but it's the first thing you need to do. Go to the settings tab in the corner here, and then go to the channel tab right over here, and then go to this last option right here. And with this last option right here, it says features that require phone verification, which are longer videos, so 15 minutes or longer, but custom thumbnail is huge. You can't really grow a channel without custom thumbnail. So go ahead and press verify a phone number here. And all you have to do here is type in a number and it will text you a code, or it could set a voice call, automated voice call, but you do have to do this step. Without this, you're very, very limited in how you could grow a YouTube channel. Once you verify your channel, step four is customizing this channel. And I wanna show you some of the most important settings and I'll give you some resources in how to get the most appropriate content for it. So to customize a channel, there's an option right here. It says customization, click on it. And this brings you to this very important page. So the very first tab you have is called layout. There's something called the channel trailer. So people that haven't subscribed to your channel will see this video if you add it. And there's the featured video for people that are returning subscribers. Obviously for a new channel, we're not gonna worry about these, but do read up on these later on because they are recommended after you make a dozen or so videos. Then you have this featured section, which basically shows you some of your more important contents. Let me show you on one of my accounts. So when people land on my page, for example, this is a video that I have. It's just one of my favorite videos because it's very in depth. And I have this as basically my channel trailer so people will see this, but you can make a custom channel trailer to tell people what your channel is all about. But you also get to see popular uploads, right? Videos that I have with millions of views show up first and my recent videos show up here. And I also have my bigger tutorials on Instagram and YouTube and Photoshop all laid out in order. So if I go back to the channel customization, those are those featured section where you could add a bunch of videos and you could add new sections here too. But obviously we're not gonna worry about any of this because we don't have a video yet. And the next option is really, really critical. So I want you to take a second to make sure you set this up before you go to the next step. So step five is gonna be branding. 
Now, under the branding tab, these are what's critical. You want to make sure you have a profile picture that is very descriptive of your channel. So if your channel is your personality, it should be your face. If it's a brand like Halfinity here, it should be the brand here. So make sure you set this up correctly. And if you don't have a logo or you have no idea where to get one, there's this platform called Placeit, and I'll put a link below where you come and type in a name and it just designs a bunch of photos kind of on the fly for you that you could choose to use on that page. It makes it a lot more professional and it's much, much cheaper than if you hire someone to design something like this. Once you're happy with your logo, just go ahead and press upload and upload a logo and it's gonna be in this shape. So make sure you select the portion you want and then press done. And it's gonna add the new logo like this as your profile picture. Now, any of these changes won't take place until you press publish. So make sure every time you do this to press publish after the change. Next, you wanna add a banner image. And I'll link to a video where I show you exactly how to make very high-end banner images here. But you wanna upload that here and it's gonna tell you exactly how to do this. And I'll put a link below in the description to Canva where you could create YouTube banners here. And this makes it much, much easier to create too if you don't want a more in-depth tutorial on that. And finally, a video watermark is basically a subscribe icon. Let me show you on my channel. When people play my video, this little watermark shows up here where people could subscribe directly from here, which is very, very useful. So that's what would appear on that channel customization tab. Again, this is something you could again make in Canva that just says subscribe on it, for example. And then when you're happy, go ahead and press publish right here. So you could go ahead and make that change. And then you could see my profile image change that I added over here. But these are critical, critical things to add before you move to the next step. And the next step is basic info. And don't skip this page because a lot of people before they subscribe to your channel, come and see what your channel's all about on this page too. And here you could write a description and you have up to 1000 characters here. And I definitely recommend you take your time to write what your channel is all about. Maybe a little more update on the type of content that you publish. And if you ever decide to change your channel name, this is the place to do it. Just press this edit icon. Now don't plan on doing this more than once or twice ever because you really want to brand around this channel name. So make sure you don't just constantly change this. Then you get a channel URL. Later, you'll also get a custom channel URL that appears here, but you need 100 subscribers to get to that point. But that could be youtube.com slash channel slash whatever your channel name is instead of this. You could go ahead and add links here. These are helpful. So you could send people to your website, for example. So you could type in your website's name and a URL or other social media platforms. And you could have up to five links over here too, including links to your Instagram and Facebook, for example and then you could type in your contact info. And this should be different than your Gmail that you're using to sign in here so you know when people are contacting you and why. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, let me show you this tool that makes it a lot easier to get your videos discovered. I'll put a link to this platform in the description. It's called TubeBuddy. And basically with TubeBuddy, let me go ahead and show you what it does. It will show up as a Google Chrome plugin over here and it will show up right here. You see this option? and I'm not signing in with this brand new channel. So go ahead and install it from my link here. And then once you install it, make sure it's connected here on your account. So make sure you select this option and sign in with your YouTube account. And let me show you on my biggest channel here. Once it's all set up, if I click it, this is exactly how I use it. There's this thing called Keyboard Explorer on there, which basically anytime I think of making a video about any topic, right? Let's say YouTube growth strategy. I'll go ahead and type that out and it will do a search for me. It'll give me some idea of if I have a chance to rank in search for that video, but it also will give me the volume of searches for this video. And it will give me tags like this that I could use to plan all my other videos or use it when I upload my videos and use it in the tag section. So with this tool, every time you have an idea for a video, go ahead and type it in just to see, do you have any chance of getting views for this? Are you going to be able to rank in search, get some ideas for other keywords that you can make videos around? And I also use this to tag my videos when I post. So I'll put a link to posting a video like a pro because in the posting process, there's a bunch of settings too that you should set that I'm not covering in this video, but now your channel's all set up. You have all the tools you need to get started and make sure if you want more resources on this, 
I do have a full course coming out on this that's over 10 hours of very tactical content. So if you want that, make sure you sign up below and as soon as it's released, I'll let you know. Hopefully it's released by the time you watch this. Thanks so much for all your time. Good luck with YouTube and I'll see you next time.